Hi, I'm Keith Fenwick. We're on Lake Derwent Water in the English Lake District and I've chosen silvery composition to paint for you. What I'm trying to achieve in this painting is recession. So although there's lots of trees here on the mountains, I'm going to paint them very, very simply. I want an interesting sky, some simple mountains. We're going to do it as an autumn scene. So we've done the sketch, let's start painting. The sky comes in first and I'm going to use my large one and a half inch sky texture brush which is a, a large hake. You'll notice I've got tissue in my hand because I use that to control the wetness of paint on the brush. So let's dip it in the water and we'll put a raw sienna background to it. I haven't stretched the paper. I'm going to have a good wiggle there look. Put some raw sienna in there. Just wet the background. So we'll have a little bit of sunshine in here. Like that, a bit more raw sienna. Just give the sky a little bit of a glow. Just dance across the paper like that, look. And just do that with the brush and we've got a bit of colour. Now the paint is running down, so I'm going to work around the tops of the peaks. With a bit of tissue, I'm going to just put a little bit of soft white cloud in there. Not a lot, just a little bit to shape it like that. A bit across there like that. Once you've stained the paper, of course, you must turn it round or you get little spots here and there. Right, we need to let that dry now. I'm going to take up a size 14 round brush now and what I'm going to do is to loosely paint in the background mountains. I want to achieve recession. So I'm starting with a little bit of cobalt blue with a little bit of raw sienna in. Just wet, in other words, I'm just wetting the background. Just wetting the paper like that. Bit of raw sienna in there. On these mountains here, there's actually lots of trees, but if I paint them in, the paint is going to look far too fussy. So I want a little bit of cobalt blue with a little bit of Payne's grey. And I'm going to just pick out a few little bits of peaks like that. Add a bit of sap green, I think, as well now. I just mix the colours as I need them. Just picking out a few, I'll just put a few little bits of... drop a few bits of green in there. I'm just putting little bits in here like this. In fact, I can use the side of the brush and just pit, play a pit apart like that to signify a few trees up there, but I don't want a lot in here. It's got to be done simply. I think that will do for that. Now these here are in the distance. I want these a very light cobalt blue. Lots of water, just a hint that you can see them there. Very simple. Little shade more at the top there. Just a touch of green, get a bit of variety of colour. Over here, and we've got the same here. There's one in the back there, look, very simple. How do you get recession in the painting? You've got to look into a painting. There we are, a bit there. Right, now we'll do this one here. A bit more green, a bit of raw sienna. And we'll just work down here like this. And that one sweeps down there like that. A bit of burnt sienna and a bit of cobalt blue. That's it, just to get a grey colour. If you mix 20% of any colour on your palette with 80% Payne's grey, you'll get a grey shadow, a brown shadow, a blue shadow, whatever you want. Now what we'll do, we'll get a bit of tissue. You can go down there, remove some of the paint and add some highlights. One of many techniques for doing mountain structures. And then this is the feature one here. So again, we're putting a raw sienna wash here. There's all sorts of little crags in that over here, which we'll put in. So I'm just wetting it with a mix of sap green and raw sienna that I've already got mixed on the palette now. I'm going to drop in some Payne's grey and a touch of red and a bit of cobalt blue. And we'll just drop in some peaks like that. Because down here there's an area of trees growing. Just dance across the paper. 
Don't be frightened of it. When you're learning to paint, you're terrified to make a stroke, but you learn by making mistakes. Bit of paint's grey now, bit of green. Got something over here, a bit more burnt sienna. Just go down. I'm just trying to create the structure of some mountain there. I'm just playing pitter pad. Look, I'm just dabbing on and just taking down just to get the structure of some trees and some structure to the mountain. Right, let's do these trees now then. I'll come to one of my special unique tree brushes and we'll use a little template, which is a line of the water. And we'll put in these trees. So I'm going to do a dark black gown, some Payne's grey and some burnt sienna, because these are going to be in autumn colours. Just looking at the scene, make sure I've got them roughly the right shape. These are the kind of sketches I do when I'm, I go out painting. Take photographs and when I get back in my studio, I can turn them into a really nice painting. You're probably wondering why I'm doing the background dark. I could have masked the foliage out, but I don't know where I want to put the highlights. So I prefer a system where I put in the trees and then I can go over it and put the highlights in later. Right, let's dry that a bit.